Welcome to this bedtime story from Abide, a sleep meditation written from the inspiration of the scriptures to help you relax and fall asleep. Please take a moment to remove anything that might be distracting to you. Settle into bed and make yourself comfortable. Take a nice, deep breath in and release it slowly. Tonight, we are going to hear comforting words that the Lord spoke to Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah had been called to a daunting ministry of speaking truth to the people of Judah. And though they did not listen to him, he remained faithful to God. Even behind prison doors, Jeremiah received peace and truth from the Lord. In chapter 33, the faithful prophet heard the Lord say, Behold, I will bring this place to health and and healing I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth breathe deeply of God's abundant peace and truth tonight feel his presence surrounding you Oh, how he loves you. You are safe in his care. And now, please allow me to pray over you. Heavenly Father, full of peace and truth, I ask that you cover this listener tonight with your presence. And your promises I ask that you fill their minds with such peace they will overflow with joy and gratitude Lord in the stillness of the room let them know you are there with each breath they take fill them with your love and goodness for you are God you are holy you are worthy I pray for this beloved person tonight no matter where they are or what is going on in their life that you God will sustain them by your loving hand I pray for strength and provision please Lord remove their burdens that they will feel released from all the things that concern them all the things that hold them down Lord remove them and set them free we look to you tonight for an abundance of peace and truth in Jesus name amen dear friend I want you to know that in all of your worries and concerns you are not alone all of us like Jeremiah sometimes feel the weight of the world bearing down on our shoulders but God God in his infinite love for you and me speaks words of comfort at just the right time he says behold I will bring this place to health and healing I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth 
then it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all the nations of the earth who shall hear all the good that I do to them. Dear one, find rest in the comforting words of the Lord tonight. Feel the soft covers around you, enveloping you into a deep and peaceful sleep, as if you're sinking into a soft cloud. Allow your body to relax, every muscle and every tendon, resting in the perfect peace of God. Gracious God, how we long to remain in your presence. In the abundance of peace and truth, we stay here with you. Please usher your child into a deep, tranquil sleep. Fill their dreams with thoughts of you, with reminders of your promises, and with a renewed hope for tomorrow. For in you, we put our trust not in the things of this world, but only in you. For you alone have done great things, and there is no reason to doubt that you will continue to move on our behalf. Thank you, Father, for your wonderful works of peace and truth. In the precious name of your Son, I pray. Amen. Hear the quiet hush of the room, stillness, tranquility, peace, and calm. Listen as the Lord says, There shall be heard in this place the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride the voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Dear friend, feel the mercy of the Lord surrounding you tonight. Such mercy such grace you can barely contain it you are humbled by his goodness you are speechless by his favor and you are calmed by his love calm your heart beloved one in the Savior's love there is peace calm your mind treasured one in the Lord all worries cease calm your soul cherished one in the father you are brave calm your spirit chosen one for he is faithful to save hear the word of the Lord from Jeremiah chapter 33 behold the days are coming says the Lord that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah in those days and at that time I will cause to grow up to David a branch of righteousness he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the earth in those days Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell safely and this is the name by which she will be called the Lord our righteousness dwell in the Lord your righteousness breathe deeply of his presence holy God how we long for your righteousness in a dry and weary land we need the abundance of peace and truth more than ever before please hear our cry for more of you in our homes 
in our cities in our nations we need you please draw this listener into your comforting embrace by your Holy Spirit flow through them with peace and assurance hold them close Lord whisper words of truth that sink deep into their hearts and take root like a seed planted in fertile soil that breaks open and extends its roots deep underground help your word to take root in the heart of this beloved child tonight reap a harvest in their life a harvest so abundant it cannot be diminished all for your glory for your name and for your purpose in Jesus holy name amen feel at rest tonight without care or concern rest in the calmness of God's blessing you are covered dear child you are blessed you are so deeply loved your soul is at rest you are captured precious one by God's endless grace you are closed in by mercy the safest blessed place you are at peace dear child under the Holy Spirit's guide you can trust fully in him rest now and abide and the Lord promised behold I will bring this place to health and healing I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth O Lord in a world that is lacking the peace we crave let the fullness of your peace shine through in a place where joy is hard to find fill us with your unspeakable joy father God please bless this child tonight as they sleep please keep watch over them calm them with your love through every fiber of their being restore them unto you I pray that when they wake in the morning they will have a renewed sense of purpose and joy I pray that they will rise with a song in their heart a song of praise to the God they love and as the rays of light peek through the window I pray that they will be reminded of your perfect light that shines through the darkest places let them rejoice in a new day with a new opportunity to spend time with you help them walk in your ways and follow your paths whisper words of direction in their ears words that keep them on the narrow way in Jesus name amen God's promise to Judah was that he would heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth the abundance of God is overflowing rest in the overflow the abundance of God's peace surpasses all understanding rest in his perfect peace the abundance of God's truth is unfathomable rest in God's holy truth tonight behold the days are coming says the Lord that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah in those days and at that time I will cause to grow up to David a branch of righteousness sleep under the branch of righteousness the Lord Jesus Christ 
Holy Father, thank you for sending your Son to be our righteousness. For without him, we are nothing. But in him, we have everything we will ever need. Thank you. We praise you. In the abundance of peace and truth, we rest securely in you. God, please continue to cover this child tonight. Surround their home with your angels. Touch their hearts with quiet whispers of truth that they will be assured of who you are and what you're doing in their life. Calm their minds and fill them with sweet dreams. Remind them that there is nothing nothing that can take the place of your peace there is nothing that can overcome your wonderful truth in the most holy name of jesus i pray amen as you lay down to sleep tonight We want your spirit to find rest and peace by listening to stories that come from pictures and stories that we find in God's Word. Do you feel restless? Do you feel unsettled? Are you longing for peace? Tonight, you will hear words from the Apostle Paul that beckon your heart to find peace, rest, and comfort. You will be reminded that Christ has made a way for you to find everlasting peace. You will be invited to rest in that peace tonight as you sleep. As you lay down, find a comfortable position. No matter what this day held, it has come to a close. And God invites you to release it and enter into the blessed rest that he gives his beloved as you sleep let your shoulders relax with your eyes closed release any pressure that's tensing you up and prepare to sleep take a slow deep breath holding it for a moment before exhaling slowly take another deep breath Let the pressures, weights, and uncertainties that you are worried about fall away tonight. Your Heavenly Father invites you to rest as you sleep. Father God, thank you for protecting your child through another day. As they lay down to sleep, I ask that you would lead them to the peace and rest that comes from knowing you and being in your presence. Be near to your child tonight, Jesus. Let the words that come from your holy scriptures lead them to sleep in peace and wake in joy. We look to you for our hope. You are our everlasting peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Children have the most wonderful imagination. When they play, their whole world transforms. To them, any item or location can morph in an instant, simply because the child's mind decided it was time to have an adventure. Maybe the days of careless play seem miles away from where you currently find yourself. Often, children will play castle, with kings and queens, or maybe even a court jester. Their backyard transforms, and with all the power of a monarch, they rule over an imaginary world. Maybe you wish you could go back to the days where the only thing you had to worry about was having enough time to play creatively in this way. It can be easy sometimes to wish that life were as simple as it was back then, 
when you could just imagine something and suddenly the world around you changed. Things are surely different now, but maybe the invitation remains to imagine and see the world around you change. What if God's invitation to you through his word was even more profound than your wildest childlike imagination? that you could find something more than a temporary, whimsical escape from the world around you and find a more lasting mindset change. In his letters to the Colossian church, the Apostle Paul writes, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Imagine approaching the most majestic castle. You have seen it from a distance. But finally, you have the opportunity to experience whatever might be inside. You slowly walk up to the gate, only to find the guards have been expecting you. They open the massive brass gate, and you walk through. You're no longer on a normal sidewalk. The ground beneath you has changed to an intricate brick design. Feel the freedom of acceptance as you walk toward the front doors. Notice the array of flowers and the perfectly manicured bushes. Lean in to smell the roses. Admire the variety of blues, yellows, whites, and reds filling the flower bed. Walk closer to the front door, preparing to enter and finally see what's inside. As you reach the door, you encounter more guards, but they too seem to be expecting you. Notice the ornate design of the front doors, taller than any you've seen before. Open the door and walk through to find a still more majestic entry. Look up to see the height of the ceilings. Notice the extravagance of the staircases one to the right and one to the left. You've entered a place with a monarch, a king or queen that rules over the space and all the space outside of it. But the ruler isn't what you imagined. It isn't a person. It's peace. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. For peace to rule means that peace leads the conversation. Peace initiates. Peace responds. Peace makes the decisions. Peace has the final word. Christ gives you the invitation to surrender to peace. Lay down your anger and let peace rule. Let go of your bitterness and let peace rule. Stop striving and let peace rule. You belong in a palace of peace and be thankful let the word of christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another the invitation of jesus is not simply to let peace have the final say it is through thankfulness to let the word of christ dwell among you richly letting peace have the final say changes what happens in the palace of your life. Letting the word of Christ dwell among you is to fill the room with truth tellers and promise keepers. To dwell is to remain, to live, to stay in a space. Run to the richness of the word of Christ and you will find balm for your weary soul. You will find truth flowing from the heart of God. You will find the promises of Jesus spoken of old 
and preserved for us in the Holy Scriptures. Though we long for the goodness of God, most spaces are filled not with truth or truth-tellers. Instead of letting outside, lesser voices have the loudest voice. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Wander deeper into the palace. Turn the corner to find another majestic great room. Admire the colors woven into the rug. Deep greens, gold, and soft reds. Smell the incense burning, permeating every room. Look at the curtains, perfectly hung and pulled back to the side. Draw closer to the window and look outside at the luscious green grass and the bright blue sky. Imagine you turn the corner and find a grand piano positioned perfectly in the great room. Listen as the words of Christ that dwell among you turn to songs of blessing sung throughout the palace. Let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Walk back to the front room and wander up the stairs. Listen to the sound of your feet on the tile as you ascend the stairs. Wander into each and every room you find, each more elaborate than the last. Imagine you have filled these rooms with truth-tellers, truth dwelling among you, peace reigning around you, truth to guide you, peace to sustain you. This is the invitation of Christ. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell among you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. We are all longing for peace. We are looking for it in so many different places, desperate to see this peace reign over our families, workplaces, relationships, and the world. We are longing for the truth of the word of Christ to dwell among us. The beauty is found in the promise given to you as you walk with Jesus. Choose to lean on the peace that comes from him. As you fall asleep tonight and as you wake in the morning to begin a new day, choose peace. Remember the message of Jesus and let that dwell in your mind and heart instead. Heavenly Father, I ask again that your peace would permeate tonight as your beloved sleeps. You are our hope of peace in a broken and hurting world, and we look to you. Bless your child tonight. May your message dwell richly in them leading them to delight and rest in your promises. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Find peace tonight as you rest in the loving arms of the God who delights to bless you, care for you, and lead you. Sleep well tonight, and may you wake to know the Lord's love for you deeper and deeper. As we prepare to begin, take a moment to name any worries that are weighing you down. Don't be ashamed of your anxiety. Offer it to God. Remember, 
that Jesus said that you could cast your cares on him. Picture your worries like rocks in a backpack. Take them out one by one and hand them to Jesus. If those worries show up in your backpack again, that's okay. Just give them to Jesus again. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. He does not grow weary, and he desires to give you his peace. Having surrendered your worries and fears to God, feel the lightness in your spirit. You don't have to carry those things anymore. You're free of them. Feel the weight gone from your shoulders. Feel the muscles of your neck and back loosen and relax, free of the burden they were carrying. Notice your breath. Don't judge it. Just notice it. Is it shallow or deep? Now, as you breathe out, surrender more of your worries to God. Feel your tension move through your body and out with your breath as you exhale. Then, breathe in God's peace, feeling it move through your body and expanding inside of you. Feel the relaxation in your shoulders deepen as you breathe out the tension and breathe in God's peace. Keep breathing out the tension and in the peace of God as I read to you from Psalm 4. Answer me when I call to you my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin when you are on your beds. Search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. God, you answer when we call to you, and you alone have the power to answer prayers. Please have mercy on your child. Relieve your child's distress and anxiety. Lift the burdens from their shoulders and help them to trust your power and your providence, your deep love for them. I ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Feel the relaxation spread out from your shoulders and back into your arms and deep inside your chest. Feel each individual muscle loosen. Continuing to breathe out your tension and in God's peace. Let your awareness of God's mercy be stronger than any other thought in your mind. Let's pray these words from Psalm 3 cover you like a blanket. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. God, you are our protector and defender and deliverer. 
Your children have nothing to fear, for you are with us. Thank you for hearing prayers and answering them. Thank you for staying with your child through the night, never leaving or forsaking them. Thank you for the new mercies you have for this child when you wake them in the morning. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray. Listen to your breathing. Listen to your breathing, slow and steady. Breathe out any tension. Breathe in God's peace. Slowly meditate on these words. I will lie down and sleep, and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord. Make me dwell in safety. Let them become your refrain. I will lie down and sleep, and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. I will lie down and sleep, and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Let the rhythm of that refrain become the rhythm of your heart as we hear these words from Psalm 4. O God, you have declared me perfect in your eyes. You have always cared for me in my distress. Hear me now as I call again. Have mercy on me. Hear my prayer. The gladness you have given me is far greater than the joy at harvest time. I will lie down in peace and sleep. For though I am alone, O Lord, you will keep me safe. Lord, you keep your child safe in peace, in comfort, and rest and restoration. You desire to give your child all good things. You hear your child when they call to you, and you give them gladness and joy. Now, dear Father, lead your child into sleep. Fill them with peace and a sense of safety. Allow them to feel your presence, to know that you are near and that you are ever watchful. God of all comfort, comfort your child. You have taken all their burdens upon yourself. Give them a sense of the freedom you've granted. Draw them deeper into your rest and your peace and your love. Tonight, may they sleep and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make them dwell in safety. And may they wake in the morning refreshed and with your song of joy in their heart. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Isaiah 26. God will keep you in perfect and constant peace. Tonight, God will make your mind steadfast, committed, focused on Him tonight. Trust God tonight with your sleep. Take refuge in God's loving arms tonight as you see sleep. 
Be confident in the arms of your Savior tonight. Trust confidently in God forever. God is your fortress. God is your shield. God is your banner. God is everlasting. He is your protector tonight. He is your rock for all time. Dear peaceful and restful Father, bring this one, your child, rest and sleep tonight. Keep them from tossing. Keep them from turning. Lord God, you never sleep. Lord God, you never slumber. So watch over this your child tonight as they sleep. Bring peace to their churning mind. Comfort their mind from spinning. Soothe their heart. Calm them tonight. Give them sweet rest in your arms. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 91. God is covering you tonight. God is completely protecting you with his strength. You are protected under his wings tonight. You can find rest under his wings tonight. You can find refuge in the loving arms of God tonight. God's faithfulness is your shield tonight. God's faithfulness is a wall protecting you from harm so you can rest tonight. Pace your breathing as you listen to the word of God being prayed softly over you. Breathe slow and deep as you hear God's words for you tonight. As you lay down to sleep, do not be afraid tonight. As you lay down tonight, let your sleep be sweet. In peace, God will be with you tonight as you sleep. You are not alone. God is with you and you will be safe as you sleep. Tonight, God will give you his beloved peaceful sleep. Tonight, God will give you sleep. God will give you slumber. He will fold your hands as you rest. You will lie down to rest tonight. You will rest peacefully. You will wake up in the morning fresh for the Lord sustains and cares for you. God will not let you move tonight. You will be at peace. He will be there for you all night because God does not slumber or sleep. He stays with you so that you can sleep. Dear peaceful Father, thank you for your peace, your care, your love, your mercy, your salvation as this child of yours finds sleep tonight. As they sleep, let them feel your presence over them. Let them sleep under your wings. And it is in Jesus' name I pray over them. Amen. Tonight's meditation will take you on a peaceful walk through the forest, over tree-lined paths, and earth-scented trails. You will walk through one of God's magnificent creations. But before we begin, please take a few moments to make yourself comfortable and settle into bed. Take a deep breath in and release it 
as slowly as you can. Feel all the tension begin to leave your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. All stress is being released and you are surrounded with peace. Invite the Holy Spirit to be with you tonight. Whisper your invitation softly. Allow his presence to fill every space with the fruits of his love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. The abundance of God's presence is what we seek. There is no place we'd rather be than in the holy presence of our Lord and Saviour. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, in the stillness of this room, we seek your presence. Cover this listener tonight with the fruit of your glory. Surround them with your love and joy and peace. Help them to know your kindness, gentleness and goodness. Please remove anything that is getting in the way of sweet communion with you. Remove all distracting thoughts tonight and help this beloved child find rest. As they drift off to sleep, I pray for calming dreams of walks in the forest with you, in the beauty of your creation. I pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Picture the fruit of the Spirit filling every tree in the forest. His abundance is all around you. Trees of love and goodness line the path where you walk. Fragrant and sweet, you breathe deeply of God's creation. Inhale the fragrance of his presence. Exhale the sweet aroma of peace. Hear the sounds of the forest that blend together in a soothing harmony of nature that lulls you to sleep. Crickets offer their familiar chirp. As the day grows cooler and nights begin to fall. Bees buzz past on their way to gather the last bits of nectar before taking cover in their hive. The faint flight of a monarch butterfly sails along. It lands gently on a beautiful white blossom. But as you get near, it takes flight again flapping its intricate wings in sunset rays. You hear birds singing their various songs, flying from tree to tree, and occasionally sweeping down to take a drink from the brook. Their sweet melodies reach the tops of the trees and echo down below. The wood thrush sings with a flute-like trill, while the nightingale calls with a clear crescendo, each of them doing exactly what they were created to do. And there is peace. 
a gentle breeze moves through the branches and causes each leaf to shimmer in the evening light. As you walk between the rows of trees, you look up to see the setting sun peeking through. The canopy of shade hovers over you like protective arms, shielding you as you sleep. You are safe here, in the presence of the Holy One. You are safe. The scents of the forest mingle together to form a fragrance that is like God's sweet perfume. Scents of cedar, pine, juniper and spruce combined with the dampness of the earth is a fragrance you want to bottle up and keep forever. Surely this is the fragrance of heaven. It feels good to be in the midst of God's creation breathing in clean, pure air, feeling the breeze around you, soft and gentle. You are alone with the Lord and you know it is the best place to be. You cherish this moment. Holy God, Please surround your child with the sweet fragrance of your presence as they rest here with you. Under the shelter of your wings, please cover them with your holiness. Blanket them in perfect peace tonight. The peace that passes all understanding with each breath, remind them of your love for them. Let there be such a presence of calm that they will sleep deeply through the night. In Jesus' name, Amen. In 1 Chronicles chapter 16, we are taken on a glorious journey of praise. It says, Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, The Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, save us, God our Saviour. Gather us and deliver us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Praise be to God from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord. Hear the trees of the forest sing. Aspen trees with tall white trunks leading to branches of vibrant green leaves. Each one is in the shape of a heart. And as the breeze flows through them, they tremble 
making music to the Lord who made them. Your heart is full of praises to God, the one who fashioned each and every leaf. Holy God, you are worthy to be praised. All around us we see your glory. There is no doubt that you created the forest and everything in it. We have no excuse to dismiss your presence in all of creation. For by your word, you spoke the heavens and earth into existence. We remain here in your presence tonight. We breathe in the fruit of your righteousness, resting deeply in your peace. As the prophet Micah said, shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, which lives by itself in a forest, in fertile pasture lands. Shepherd us, Lord. Guide us with your staff of righteousness. For your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Enter into the gates of God's pasture. He opens it wide for you. As part of his beloved flock, he cares for you and provides for you. There is nothing to fear. Set apart from the world, God's people reside in a forest of holiness, in a pasture of abundance and peace. It is a safe place, a place of refuge and harbour. Find safety in the harbour of God's goodness and provision over you. Walking along, you see a small brook running through the trees. Water runs over shiny pebbles that glisten in the sun's remaining light. Hear the bubbling brook run through the forest as the sun begins to set. As evening casts its glow, the leaves of the trees turn from from bright green to golden yellow. It's as if they are trying to capture the remaining rays of the sun before nightfall. And as the sun sets, a quiet hush falls over the forest. Feel the hush. It's as if time has slowed down and God's creation waves farewell to another day. Gracious God, at the close of another day, we wave goodbye to the work that has been done. We leave behind all our tasks for the night. We rest here in the quiet hush of your spirit Flow over us, Lord, as we sleep soundly in your presence. As a brook of cool water flowing over the rocks beneath, flow over us with your soothing words of love. In Jesus' holy name, Amen. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, The Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord. Rejoicing heaven, 
bowl of starlit wonder, shine on the earth below. Speak of God's reigning glory that all the world will know. Seas resound and teem with life as tides sweep over land. There is no wave, no peak, no crest, unknown by the master's hand. Jubilant fields sway in wonder, rolling fields of grain. Trees of the forest sing aloud of God's everlasting reign. Made to worship, we are called to join creation's song that every voice would sing together, resonant and strong. Heavenly Father, creator of heaven and earth, please cover this beloved person tonight with a sweet song of peace. Watch over them through every hour of the night. Work through them to restore and refresh their spirit so that they will awaken with the dawn, ready to face the day. Please speak to their hearts as they sleep, reminding them of who you are, the one who reigns from everlasting to everlasting the one who joins heaven and earth in beautiful harmony, and the one who walks through forests of peace and orchestrates praise. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to journey with you through this forest of peace. We remain here in your presence. In the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Feel your breathing steady and secure, your heart beating gently with the grace of God, and listen as I pray these words from Psalm 116. Let my soul be at rest again, for the Lord has been good to me. He has saved me from death, my eyes from tears my feet from stumbling. And so I walk in the Lord's presence as I live here on earth. I believed in you, so I said, I am deeply troubled, Lord. In my anxiety, I cried out to you. What can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and praise the Lord's name for saving me. I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Saving Lord, we give you all the glory. Please let your child, soul, and body be at rest tonight. Let them rest in the assurance that you have saved them and that they live in your presence and that you are always listening to their cries feel yourself drifting off to sleep as i continue reading from psalm 117 oh praise the lord all you nations praise him all you people for his loving kindness prevails over us and we triumph and overcome through him And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Lord, we praise you for your love and your kindness. We praise you for your truth. Thank you for promising that your child may overcome all things and that you will lead your child in triumph and into radiant truth. Pace your breathing as I read now from Psalm 118. Breathe in. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Breathe out. His faithful love endures forever. Breathe in. Give thanks to the Lord, 
for he is good. Breathe out. His faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord say with us, His faithful love endures forever. Lord, your love is with us even unto the end. Let your love wrap around this child tonight as you lead your child into the rest they need. Continue to breathe deeply as I continue to pray with the words of the psalmist. In our distress, we pray to you, Lord, and you answer and set us free. The Lord is for us, so we will have no fear. What can mere people do to us? Yes, the Lord is for us. He will help us. We choose to take refuge in you, God. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. God, we believe that though we may fail, your love will never fail. May your child find refuge in you tonight and trust you completely. Set your child free from fear. God, you are our hiding place. May your child hide safely with you tonight and experience the true rest and peace that only you can give. Sink deeply into comfort and rest as I continue to read from Psalm 118. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will live to tell what the Lord has done. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter, and I will go in and thank the Lord. These gates lead to the presence of the Lord, and the godly enter there. I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory. Gracious God, you have done wonderful things. We praise and exalt you. For your love endures forever. Thank you for allowing us to see your work in the world. God, I ask now that you would be with your child as they sleep through this night. Give them peaceful dreams. Restore their spirit. And wake them in the morning to a new day that you have made. That they may rejoice and be glad in it that they may experience your fresh mercies. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. is with you. He promises to watch over you as you sleep tonight. As you lay in comfort, take a few moments to relax your body. Breathe in gently and fill yourself with the breath of life. Relax and breathe deeply until all your muscles are free from anxiety and trouble. Relax your legs and back. May God lift off all your burdens and carry the weight of his work for you. Let your toes relax. May God strengthen and guide your feet for new paths for tomorrow. If any worries come to mind, release them to God. 
Psalm 116 says, Because the Lord bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. Imagine God bending down to listen to you. Watch him listen patiently to your concerns. As you do, breathe in God's peace and breathe out your worries. Feel the loving arms of God encircling you. Christ has given his life for you, and nothing can separate you from the love that God has for you. Pace your breathing as I pray for you now. Father, thank you for the deep, deep love you have for your child, that you would give your own son for them. Thank you for the gift of forgiveness from sins. Thank you for washing them free from any guilt or shame and restoring them. Thank you for sending your spirit to be a seal on their heart, marking them as yours forever. Thank you for blessing them with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Tonight, please bless this child with the gift of sleep. Free your child from any worries, stresses, or anxieties. Calm their nerves and heart and quiet their body. Give them peace and let these words of the psalmist Guide them into a deeper sense of your glory and grace as I read words of praise for our good God from Psalm 113. Praise the Lord, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun, To its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Gracious Lord, as the sun has set today, we praise your name. Guide this child, your servant, into sleep and rest now, so that they may have the strength they need to praise your name in the day to come. Pace your breathing softly as I continue reading from Psalm 113. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks far down on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and the princes of his people. Lord, you look on your child with love and you lift them to abide with you. As they rest tonight, please fill them with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and all the fruits of the Spirit. Feel the peace of God lifting you to Him. His love lifts you away from your worries and into safety. Listen as I pray with the words of the psalmist, from Psalm 115. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name goes all the glory for your unfailing love and faithfulness. We will trust the Lord. You are our helper and our shield. We fear the Lord. We trust the Lord. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. 
He will bless those who fear the Lord, both great and lowly. May the Lord richly bless both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Father, maker of heaven and earth, thank you for remembering us and richly blessing us. Thank you for helping us in time of need and shielding us in times of trouble. We give you all the glory. Lead your child now into deep sleep and true rest. Feel the Father's hands on you, blessing you. See him bending down to listen to you and watching over you as you rest. Pace your breathing as we pray these words from Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Because he bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. Death wrapped its ropes around me. The terrors of the grave overtook me. I saw only trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Please, Lord, save me. How kind the Lord is. How good he is. So merciful, this God of ours. The Lord protects those of childlike faith. I was facing death, and he saved me. Merciful God, thank you for saving your child. When the cords of sin and death entangled them, you reached down to rescue. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for watching over us and listening to our cries for help. I ask that now you would hold this child close, like a mother hen with her chicks. Gather this child under the shelter of your wings. Feel your breathing steady and secure, your heart beating gently with the grace of God, and listen as I pray these words from Psalm 116. Let my soul be at rest again, for the Lord has been good to me. He has saved me from death my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. And so I walk in the Lord's presence as I live here on earth. I believed in you, so I said, I am deeply troubled, Lord. In my anxiety, I cried out to you. What can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and praise the Lord's name for saving me. I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Saving Lord, we give you all the glory. Please let your child, soul, and body be at rest tonight. Let them rest in the assurance that you have saved them and that they live in your presence, and that you are always listening to their cries. Feel yourself drifting off to sleep as I continue reading from Psalm 117. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people. For his loving kindness prevails over us. And we triumph and overcome through him. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Lord, we praise you for your love and your kindness. We praise you for your truth. Thank you for promising that your child may overcome all things. And that you will lead your child in triumph and into radiant truth. Ace your breathing as I read now from Psalm 118. Breathe in. 
give thanks to the Lord for he is good breathe out his faithful love endures forever breathe in give thanks to the Lord for he is good breathe out his faithful love endures forever let all who fear the Lord say with us his faithful love endures forever Lord your love is with us even unto the end let your love wrap around this child tonight as you lead your child into the rest they need continue to breathe deeply as I continue to pray with the words of the psalmist in our distress we pray to you Lord and you answer and set us free the Lord is for us so we will have no fear what can mere people do to us yes the Lord is for us he will help us we choose to take refuge in you God it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes God we believe that though we may fail your love will never fail may your child find refuge in you tonight and trust you completely set your child free from fear God you are our hiding place may your child hide safely with you tonight and experience the true rest and peace that only you can give sink deeply into comfort and rest as I continue to read from Psalm 118 the Lord is my strength and my song he has given me victory songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly the strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly the strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things I will live to tell what the Lord has done open for me the gates where the righteous enter and I will go in and thank the Lord these gates lead to the presence of the Lord and the godly enter there I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory gracious God you have done wonderful things we praise and exalt you for your love endures forever thank you for allowing us to see your work in the world God I ask now that you would be with your child as they sleep through this night give them peaceful dreams restore their spirit and wake them in the morning to a new day that you have made that they may rejoice and be glad in it that they may experience your fresh mercies in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit Amen whatever emotions you're feeling at the present exhale them and release them to the Lord breathe in and out deeply peacefully settling your thoughts on the protective arms of the Savior he's with you tonight your soul will find rest as you wait on God and feel his presence in the room be at peace and relax 
sink deeper into the pillow and let all thoughts fade away as you prepare to hear the beautiful truths of the scriptures the words of David as he pours his heart out to God tonight I invite you to pour out your own concerns to God release them let go of them let your soul find perfect rest in his presence release all of your strivings and pursuits of earthly gain to him he alone is your rock your salvation your everything now listen to these comforting words from Psalm 62 verses 5 and 6 for God alone O my soul wait in silence for my hope is from him he only is my rock my salvation my fortress I shall not be shaken in God alone you will find rest wait relax be at peace and know he alone is your rock he alone is your salvation he alone is your fortress you're safe with him you are sheltered in his presence in the midst of every trouble he's with you you're secure in his salvation he's built a wall of peace around you to protect and guard you oh Lord I pray for the listener of this bedtime story that in you alone they will find hope rest and peace help them Lord to wait for you in silence in peaceful expectation help them to release every concern to you and find perfect rest tonight help them trust in your guidance in your holiness and in your sovereignty I ask for their safety tonight as they breathe deeply of your presence and your protection over them thank you Lord for securing them in your salvation and for building a fortress of love around them surrounding them with your peace in Jesus holy name I pray continue to breathe deeply in and out in and out sinking deeper into the pillow and allowing yourself to drift into a perfect state of rest let God's peace wash over you from head to toe letting go of all worry feel the shelter of God's presence surround you like a tall fortress that cannot be broken know that he's guarding you tonight as you sleep deeply without a single care or concern he's with you he's comforting you he's watching over you as you sleep in peace 
In Him, your soul finds rest. Now listen to the scriptures again from Psalm 62, verses 1 and 2. Truly, my soul silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. God is your defense. You can release everything to Him. He's got your life in His hands. He is with you. You shall not be moved as you rest securely in Him. Rest deeply in His provision. Rest completely in His salvation. Gracious God, I pray for deep rest and peace over your beloved tonight. Lord, place your hand over them as they sleep. Help them to know you are near. Father, assure them that you alone are their rock and their salvation. Comfort them with your love and secure them in your presence. Help them to feel completely safe in your arms, unmoved, resting deeply. In Jesus' name. Feel the calm presence of the Holy Spirit in the room as you breathe deeply, as you allow Him to cover you with His love. God is with you. He is your rock. You will not be moved. Feel His presence now. Be reminded of His gentleness, His compassion, His grace. He's sheltering you with a fortress of safety and protection. You can fully depend on Him. You don't need to trust in riches. God is your treasure. He is your confidence. And He will not disappoint. Breathe in and out. In and out. Rest. Sleep. Be at peace. God is with you. He is your rock. Your salvation. In Him, your soul finds rest. Now, hear the words of David from Psalm 62, verse 5, from the New Living Translation. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in Him. Tonight, let all that you are wait quietly right here in this room rest listen for his still small voice and put your hope in him you can trust him he loves you he is with you in the silence in the waiting God is with you. Do not fear. Do not worry. You are safe 
in his loving arms. With all that you are, wait quietly before God. Holy God, thank you for this precious person resting in your presence tonight. I ask that you breathe your life and hope into their soul. I pray that you cover them with your mercy and grace and guide them into a deep and wonderful sleep. Thank you for your presence your peace, your holiness, in Jesus' name. Continue to breathe in and out, softly, deeply, resting fully in God's grace. Let everything fade away. Let your thoughts drift into silence waiting, resting, as you breathe deeply in and out. You hear only the quiet voice of his love as he surrounds you with his presence. You wait silently before God and put your hope in him. Your very life is in his hands. His word rests deep in your mind. Your soul finds rest. Your soul finds rest. In him, your soul finds rest. He's with you. He loves you. He is your rock, your salvation, your fortress. You will not be moved. You are secure in Him. In God, your soul finds rest. Lord, put your hand on this beloved person tonight. Let them sense your presence here. Assure them of your protection of your constant help in their life. Give them peace and rest and sleep. Perfect peace, perfect rest, and wonderful sleep. Remind them of who you are, their rock, their salvation, their fortress. Just as King David set his heart on you, help your child focus on your presence tonight. Lead them into deep sleep and help them know you are here in the silence. You are rest for their soul. You are rest for their soul. Jesus' holy name. Amen. Picture yourself handing all your troubles to God. The big ones, the small ones, and everything in between. He's a mighty, all-powerful, infinitely loving God. He can take care of everything in your life. Go ahead hand all of it to him let him tend to your earthly matters tonight tonight let's focus on God and who he is let's focus on your blessings now that you've handed all your troubles to him picture him giving you a gift in return it's his presence and his peace Rest in his protection as he surrounds you with his loving kindness. Enjoy the sensation. 
of your head sinking into the pillow savor the feeling of the soft sheet and the warm blanket gently covering your body stretch out your muscles in your feet your legs your hands and your arms take another deep relaxing breath fill your belly with air as you inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth focus only on God he loves you he is taking care of you the day is over rejoice in your rest let me pray over you dear father you are the God of peace you are the God of grace and mercy you are the God of sleep you are a sovereign a holy God who has a plan for our lives you triumph over all of our problems and you are constantly drawing us back to yourself father I thank you for this child of yours I thank you for their love for you their desire to know you more thank you for the many blessings in their life their bed their home their food their friends and family the very air they breathe father I pray that you will surround this child of yours with your presence bless them with wonderful sleep and health your word says you have overcome the world it says you are the Lord of peace who grants us peace at all times in every way right now I ask that you will surround this child of yours with your marvelous peace like never before I ask that tonight they will have sweet dreams about your kingdom I ask that they will wake up refreshed and ready to serve you they are safe in your loving arms it's in Christ's name that I pray amen for tonight's story let's take a journey back in time to the Mediterranean Sea during biblical times you'll walk along the shore and let your toes get lost in the sand you'll watch seagulls and eagles maybe even a few dolphins most of all though you'll relish in God's goodness and marvel at his creation while you do this we'll focus on who God is as we read a psalm of David Psalm 24 it is thought that David may have written Psalm 24 after the Ark of the Covenant was recovered and brought back into Jerusalem the Bible tells us that David was so full of joy that he danced in the streets praising God for protecting and blessing the Israelites listen as I read Psalm 24 the earth is the Lord's and everything in it the world and all its people belong to him for he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths who may climb the mountain of the Lord who may stand in his holy place only those whose hands and hearts are pure who do not worship idols and never tell lies 
they will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior such people may seek you and worship in your presence O God of Jacob open up ancient gates open up ancient doors and let the God of glory enter who is the King of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord invincible in battle open up ancient gates open up ancient doors and let the King of glory enter who is the King of glory the Lord of heaven's armies he is the King of glory for tonight's journey in ancient Israel we'll explore the shores of the Mediterranean Sea it's morning time on your journey and you're walking on the sand covered beach along Israel's western shore it's a perfect day to rest and relax it's not too hot it's not too cool a warm breeze from the Mediterranean skips off the surface of the water and races through your hair and across your skin carrying with it the unmistakable aroma of salt water in marine life maybe even the smell of flowers from the adjacent valley you take in a deep breath ah and savor the fragrance nearby a few seagulls are hovering just above the water apparently in a competition for their next meal they squawk and fuss at one another as they take turns diving into the water as you walk along the shore the unmistakable sensation of sand massages the bottom of your feet and clings to the sides of your toes it's a fine textured lightish brown sand that resembles the color of the towering cliffs to your left you stand firmly in the sand for a moment and delight in its warmth you bury your left toe and then your right toe curling your toes up and down and letting the sand go whichever way it wishes the feeling is exhilarating but your feet don't stay buried very long because the warm waters of the Mediterranean soon sweep across the sand and wash it back to sea instantly exposing your feet to the air you stand there for a few more moments to enjoy the scene burying your feet again in the sand and letting the Mediterranean waters rush over them again looking down you spot a few small seashells dancing helplessly in the tide an orange one a white one and a brown one these seashells are common clam shells but still they're no less gorgeous than anything else on the beach today you pick one up as a keepsake listen as I read again the first few stanzas of Psalm 24 the earth is the Lord's and everything in it the world and all its people belong to him for he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths the whole earth belongs to God the beach the sea the creatures flying above and the ones swimming below all of it belongs to God and God is taking care of it 
This includes you. God watches over and cares for his creation just as he cares for the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. He is caring for you. Several minutes have passed since you played in the sand. And by now, the reddish orange sun directly behind you is about halfway up the sky, ready to give much needed light to the people and crops of this bountiful, blessed land. Just above the sun are three or four small puffy clouds that are sailing across the sea, like a carefree group of sailboats gliding across the Mediterranean itself. In fact, as you look down and gaze across the sea, you spot a real-life fisherman's sailboat. It's a moderate distance from the shore, but close enough that you can discern the voices of the two men on board. One of them has a gray beard. The other looks a bit younger and has black facial hair. It's quite possibly a father and son. They're struggling to pull up a large net filled with today's catch. You estimate that there are probably 100 or more fish in it. Hallelujah! One of them shouts to the heavens as they pull the net out of the water and into the boat. Listen as I read the next group of stanzas from Psalm 24. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence. O oh God of Jacob, God is good. God is holy. And through Christ, you have clean hands and a pure heart. When God looks at you, he sees the righteousness of his Son. He doesn't see sin, he sees. Jesus God loves you rest soundly tonight in this gift of salvation now a number of minutes have passed since the fisherman pulled the net out of the water high overhead you notice an eagle circling the sky it's fishing too hunting for its next meal eagles in this area often nest in the cliffs along the shore to your left and you watch this one dive rapidly toward the water and glide just above the surface as it reaches down and secures a small silver colored fish with its large yellow talons it barely slows down as it then races to its nest high in the cliffs to your left more than likely it's feeding its eaglet moments later you hear a voice at sea there they are look the voice shouts you glance toward the fisherman one of them is motioning toward the water trying to get the other's attention he has spotted a group of dolphins playing alongside the boat leaping and splashing no doubt they've been eating the leftovers from the men's morning catch you see one dolphin jump high out of the water and then another and then another it's as if they're dogs at sea and asking the fishermen for a treat one of the fishermen tosses a fish back out to sea, and the dolphins quickly race for it. 
you can hear the two men laughing. <laughs> Listen now as I read the final stanzas of Psalm 24. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. God is sovereign. God is holy. God is also victorious. He is the mighty, strong God who protected Israel. Much like he protected and provided for the fishermen in our story, he will do the same for you tonight. He will grant you peace and a marvelous night's sleep. He will guard you and protect you. He is the King of glory. As we wind down tonight's journey, Listen once more as I read Psalm 24 in its entirety. Let this be your song of peaceful worship tonight as you rest in God's goodness. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him, for he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths who may climb the mountain of the Lord who may stand in his holy place only those whose hands and hearts are pure who do not worship idols and never tell lies they will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior such people may seek you and worship in your presence O God of Jacob, open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord invincible in battle. Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of heaven's armies he is the king of glory dear father you are the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you are the God of David you are the king of glory you are the maker of heavens and the earth and you are the creator of rest and sleep father I pray that you will grant this child of yours the perfect peace they need tonight surround them with your presence help them to know in a mighty way that you are watching over and protecting them relax their body and their mind conquer their anxious thoughts bless them with a marvelous night's sleep and help them to wake up refreshed and ready to serve you another day it's in Christ's name that I pray amen as Aaron told God's people in Scripture may the Lord bless you and protect you May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Good night. Let me pray over you. Dear Father, 
You are the God of peace. You are the God of grace and mercy. You are the God of sleep. You are a sovereign, a holy God who has a plan for our lives. You triumph over all of our problems and you are constantly drawing us back to yourself. Father, I thank you for this child of yours. I thank you for their love for you, their desire to know you more. Thank you for the many blessings in their life, their bed, their home, their food, their friends and family, the very air they breathe. Father, I pray that you will surround this child of yours with your presence. Bless them with wonderful sleep and health. Your word says you have overcome the world. It says you are the Lord of peace, who grants us peace at all times in every way. Right now, I ask that you will surround this child of yours with your marvelous peace like never before I ask that tonight they will have sweet dreams about your kingdom I ask that they will wake up refreshed and ready to serve you they are safe in your loving arms it's in Christ's name that I pray amen For tonight's story, let's take a journey back in time to the Mediterranean Sea during biblical times. You'll walk along the shore and let your toes get lost in the sand. You'll watch seagulls and eagles, maybe even a few dolphins. Most of all, though, you'll relish in God's goodness and marvel at His creation. While you do this, we'll focus on who God is as we read a psalm of David, Psalm 24. It is thought that David may have written Psalm 24 after the Ark of the Covenant was recovered and brought back into Jerusalem. The Bible tells us that David was so full of joy that he danced in the streets, praising God for protecting and blessing the Israelites. Listen as I read Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to Him. For He laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. Open up ancient gates open up ancient doors and let the God of glory enter who is the King of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord invincible in battle open up ancient gates open up ancient doors and let the King of glory enter who is the King of glory the Lord of heaven's armies He is the King of glory. For tonight's journey in ancient Israel, we'll explore the shores of the Mediterranean Sea. It's morning time on your journey, and you're walking on the sand-covered beach along Israel's western shore. 
It's a perfect day to rest and relax. It's not too hot. It's not too cool. A warm breeze from the Mediterranean skips off the surface of the water and races through your hair and across your skin, carrying with it the unmistakable aroma of salt water in marine life. Maybe even the smell of flowers from the adjacent valley. You take in a deep breath ah, and savor the fragrance. Nearby, a few seagulls are hovering just above the water, apparently in a competition for their next meal. They squawk and fuss at one another as they take turns diving into the water. As you walk along the shore, the unmistakable sensation of sand massages the bottom of your feet and clings to the sides of your toes. It's a fine textured lightish brown sand that resembles the color of the towering cliffs to your left. You stand firmly in the sand for a moment and delight in its warmth. You bury your left toe and then your right toe, curling your toes up and down and letting the sand go whichever way it wishes. The feeling is exhilarating. But your feet don't stay buried very long because the warm waters of the Mediterranean soon sweep across the sand and wash it back to sea, instantly exposing your feet to the air. You stand there for a few more moments to enjoy the scene, burying your feet again in the sand and letting the Mediterranean waters rush over them again. Looking down, you spot a few small seashells dancing helplessly in the tide. An orange one, a white one, and a brown one. These seashells are common clam shells, but still, they're no less gorgeous than anything else on the beach today. You pick one up as a keepsake. Listen as I read again the first few stanzas of Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. The whole earth belongs to God the beach, the sea, the creatures flying above and the ones swimming below. All of it belongs to God. And God is taking care of it. This includes you. God watches over and cares for his creation just as he cares for the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. He is caring for you. Several minutes have passed since you played in the sand, and by now the reddish-orange sun directly behind you is about halfway up the sky, ready to give much-needed light to the people and crops of this bountiful, blessed land. Just above the sun, are three or four small puffy clouds that are sailing across the sea like a carefree group of sailboats gliding across the Mediterranean itself in fact as you look down and gaze across the sea you spot a real-life fisherman's sailboat it's a moderate distance from the shore but close enough that you can discern the voices of the two men on board 
one of them has a gray beard the other looks a bit younger and has black facial hair it's quite possibly a father and son they're struggling to pull up a large net filled with today's catch you estimate that there are probably 100 or more fish in it hallelujah one of them shouts to the heavens as they pull the net out of the water and into the boat listen as I read the next group of stanzas from Psalm 24 who may climb the mountain of the Lord who may stand in his holy place only those whose hands and hearts are pure who do not worship idols and never tell lies they will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior such people may seek you and worship in your presence O God of Jacob God is good God is holy and through Christ you have clean hands and a pure heart when God looks at you he sees the righteousness of his son he doesn't see sin he sees Jesus God loves you rest soundly tonight in this gift of salvation now a number of minutes have passed since the fisherman pulled the net out of the water high overhead you notice an eagle circling the sky it's fishing too hunting for its next meal eagles in this area often nest in the cliffs along the shore to your left and you watch this one dive rapidly toward the water and glide just above the surface as it reaches down and secures a small silver colored fish with its large yellow talons it barely slows down as it then races to its nest high in the cliffs to your left more than likely it's feeding its eaglet moments later you hear a voice at sea there they are look the voice shouts you glance toward the fisherman one of them is motioning toward the water trying to get the other's attention he has spotted a group of dolphins playing alongside the boat leaping and splashing no doubt they've been eating the leftovers from the men's morning catch you see one dolphin jump high out of the water and then another and then another it's as if they're dogs at sea and asking the fishermen for a treat one of the fishermen tosses a fish back out to sea and the dolphins quickly race for it you can hear the two men laughing <laughs> listen now as I read the final stanzas of Psalm 24 lift up your heads you gates be lifted up you ancient doors that the King of glory may come in who is this King of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle lift up your heads you gates lift them up you ancient doors that the king of glory may come in who is he this king of glory the Lord Almighty he is the king of glory God is sovereign God is holy God is also victorious he is the mighty strong God who protected Israel 
much like he protected and provided for the fishermen in our story he will do the same for you tonight he will grant you peace and a marvelous night's sleep he will guard you and protect you he is the king of glory as we wind down tonight's journey listen once more as I read Psalm 24 in its entirety let this be your song of peaceful worship tonight as you rest in God's goodness the earth is the Lord's and everything in it the world and all its people belong to him for he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths who may climb the mountain of the Lord who may stand in his holy place only those whose hands and hearts are pure who do not worship idols and never tell lies they will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior such people may seek you and worship in your presence O God of Jacob open up ancient gates open up ancient doors and let the King of glory enter who is this King of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord invincible in battle open up ancient gates open up ancient doors and let the King of glory enter who is this King of glory the Lord of heaven's armies he is the King of glory dear father you are the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you are the God of David you are the King of glory you are the maker of heavens and the earth and you are the creator of rest and sleep father I pray that you will grant this child of yours the perfect peace they need tonight surround them with your presence help them to know in a mighty way that you are watching over and protecting them relax their body and their mind conquer their anxious thoughts bless them with a marvelous night's sleep and help them to wake up refreshed and ready to serve you another day it's in Christ's name that I pray amen as Aaron told God's people in Scripture may the Lord bless you and protect you may the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you may the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace good night Romans 8 1 to 4 says therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus because through Christ Jesus the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death for what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh to be a sin offering and so he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the flesh but according to the spirit we have new life in the spirit because of the great sacrifice Jesus made for us on the cross God holds nothing against us Jesus has paid the price for our sins God loves you so much 
He sent his son to die for you. And the best part, Romans 4, 10, and 11 says, But if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his Spirit who lives in you. Like Christ, we too will live in eternity. For death is not the end. We have been promised a new and everlasting life. You are God's precious child. Rest in that truth right now and feel his arms wrapping you in his loving warmth and safety. Romans 8, 16 to 17 says, The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. A new life awaits all of us in heaven. But we don't have to wait until then to experience God's amazing grace. Picture God coming to visit you and bringing you a fresh mindset. God's will is that you be set free from any uncleanliness in your life. Let's pray for him to fill your heart right now. God made you and knows you better than anyone else. He created you with very specific gifts, talents, and passions. He knows what will fill your life with joy and deep satisfaction. Relax as I pray for you now to experience the peace and wisdom of the Almighty God who knows you by name. Rest in the love of your heavenly Father as he continually creates a new life for you to enjoy. Lord, your heart is for us to experience not only restoration, but the fullness of a new and transformed life with you. Thank you for making this all possible through the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus. It's in his name that I pray. Amen. Psalm 4, 8 says, In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Rest in God's loving presence tonight. And as you do, may you abide in Christ. God has made a way for us to have a new life in him through his son, Jesus. Take a deep breath in and release the air slowly. Lie down and make yourself as comfortable as possible as you prepare for heavenly sleep tonight. Turn off any distractions so that you may fully enjoy this time that's been prepared just for you. You're not here by accident, for God has planned this time for you to be in his peaceful presence. Listen as I read Romans 6, 4 from the New International Version of God's Word. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too 
may live a new life. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the precious gift of your Son, Jesus, who took our sins upon himself, died on a cross, and rose from the dead on the third day. Because of this great sacrifice, we look forward to life everlasting with you. Help us to see from your perspective, to understand the depth of your love for us. Make us aware of this new life that you give us and help us make the most of every day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Tonight, you have the opportunity to surrender the heavy burdens of life in exchange for God's way of living. Are you tired of doing things in your own strength? God's way is different, as He is your Heavenly Father and can't wait to show you His love. For His burden is easy, His yoke is light. If you're carrying some heavy burdens tonight, you can lay them down and let God handle them for you. Our Father God loves to help His children. Imagine sitting by a lovely stream. The air around you is so clean and fresh. You sense a newness in the air and it's invigorating. This is the river of new life and the Lord is so happy to help you. Now take a moment to lay down any burden you've been carrying at the edge of the water. Finances, relationships, health, whatever it is. As you release it into God's care, watch as it slowly drifts down the stream. Do you feel lighter and less burdened? Take a deep breath in and enjoy the sweet aroma of God's presence. All of us take on things that may be too tough for us to handle on our own. We forget to ask for God's wisdom and strength to guide us in our relationships and everyday decisions. Surrender everything that you've been burdened by Lay it down now into the river of new life. Surrendering to God's will for our lives helps us see from a new heavenly perspective. Now God wants to fill you with a fresh vision for your life. He wants only the very best for you. Coming down the stream toward you are new gifts from the Lord. You see your name written on the outside of the first gift. With a sense of excitement, you take it into your hands and open the box. God's acceptance of you comes pouring out of the package and you feel yourself smiling with delight. For you are loved exactly as you are. He has made you different from everyone else and has an amazing plan and purpose for your life. You feel more hopeful and calm than you've felt in a long time. Rest now in the pure light of his love for you. Another gift is coming down the stream and you're excited to take it out of the fresh water and cup it into your hands. As you open it, you're filled with the aroma of God's grace and mercy upon your life. You have an overwhelming sense that Jesus has taken all the sins of your whole life and covered them in grace. You may not feel like you deserve such an amazing gift. It 
find yourself repenting of anything else that you may need to clear from your mind and conscience. In this moment, you realize you're completely forgiven and set free. Your spirit is so light now and you're filled with peace. You thank the Lord for these beautiful gifts. He knows exactly what you long for and always gives you what you need in just the right time. And just when you think you couldn't receive any more gifts, you see a third gift drifting down towards you and it lands right in your hands. As you open the package, your whole body is filled with glorious warmth and joy. This is the gift of eternal love. You now have a sense of understanding about how much God loves you and you feel completely at rest in his presence. Listen to this beautiful word from the Lord from 2 Corinthians 5.17 and let it guide you into complete rest. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. After this amazing experience at the river of life, you're urged by the Lord to follow him to a place of rest. You rise to your feet and follow him. As you walk down the tree-lined pathway together, you hold tight to the gifts he has brought you. But in that same moment, you notice all the packages you were holding have somehow disappeared from your hands. The gifts of the Lord have melted into your heart and you will carry them with you every day of your life. Your body is tired and you long for a place to rest. There's a soft blanket laid out under a tree and you know that this special place has been set up just for you. Welcome to your new life, a life of God's love, grace, and acceptance. Enjoy resting in his peace, knowing you are eternally loved. In John chapter 4, Jesus has a meaningful conversation with a Samaritan woman at a well. Jesus offered her his living water from which she could drink and never be thirsty again. Jesus knew every detail of her past and gave her the opportunity to make a huge change. This conversation with Jesus sparked transformation in her life. Jesus said, Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, Give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, Go, call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you've had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. The woman was astonished that he knew the secret shame she carried, and still 
offered her new life and living hope. Verse 39 says, Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. Jesus loved this woman, regardless of her behavior in the past, and welcomed her into his new life with living water. A new life that she could choose to live if she would turn from her sinful ways. Let God speak his loving truth to you. God is love, and instead of condemning us, he offers us his truth and grace. Accepting God's love and forgiveness opens the door to eternal life. There is freedom in Christ. God has a new and better way. Romans 8, 1-4 says, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh, God did by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh to be a sin offering. And so he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. We have new life in the Spirit because of the great sacrifice Jesus made for us on the cross. God holds nothing against us. Jesus has paid the price for our sins. God loves you so much, he sent his son to die for you. And the best part, Romans 4, 10, and 11 says, But if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his Spirit who lives in you. Like Christ, we too will live in eternity. For death is not the end. We have been promised a new and everlasting life. You are God's precious child. Rest in that truth right now and feel his arms wrapping you in his loving warmth and safety. Romans 8, 16 to 17 says, The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. A new life awaits all of us in heaven, but we don't have to wait until then to experience God's amazing grace. Picture God coming to visit you and bringing you a fresh mindset. God's will is that you be set free from any uncleanliness in your life. Let's pray for him to fill your heart right now. God made you and knows you better than anyone else. 
He created you with very specific gifts, talents, and passions. He knows what will fill your life with joy and deep satisfaction. Relax as I pray for you now to experience the peace and wisdom of the Almighty God who knows you by name. Rest in the love of your Heavenly Father as He continually creates a new life for you to enjoy. Lord, your heart is for us to experience not only restoration, but the fullness of a new and transformed life with you. Thank you for making this all possible through the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus. It's in his name that I pray. Amen. Psalm 4, 8 says, In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Rest in God's loving presence tonight. And as you do, may you abide in Christ. As you enter those first stages of sleep, drifting off peacefully, feeling perfectly content, your mind drifts to images of God's beautiful creation. Green rolling hills, a wide open meadow dotted with flowers, a gentle flowing stream of water, clear and refreshing soft grass beneath your feet cushioning your toes you remain here in the peace of God's creation inhaling and exhaling in your dream you look up to see wispy clouds floating over the quiet meadow. You are lulled by the heavenly scene above you. Your focus is only on the creator of heaven and earth. Nothing troubles you as you allow the billowy clouds to pass by against the pale blue sky. Oh Lord, we have waited for you. The desire of our soul is for your name and for the remembrance of you. With my soul, I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. God loves you, dear one. As you have waited for him, he waits for you. In this quiet meditation, this holy moment, God is with you. 
His Holy Spirit helps you relax every muscle, every tendon. He causes you to breathe in a steady rhythm. He allows you to find peace in the presence of His holiness. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing this child how to fall asleep quickly and gently. You are their helper and their comforter. We praise you from the depth of our souls. We dream of pleasant places with you, hand in hand, step by step. With you, we want to remain. Thank you for your presence tonight. Father, let your angels surround this beloved child. Surround their home and guard that which they've committed to you. Be with them through every breath every minute and every hour of the night. In Jesus' name, amen. Sleep deeply in Christ Jesus, your fortress, your shield, and your strong tower. As you know, getting a good night's sleep makes all the difference in your mental, physical, and emotional health. Sleep is crucial for processing the day's activities and restoring your tired body. If you've tried everything to fall asleep but still struggle, there is a quick two-minute technique that might be life-changing for you. This technique can help you fall asleep any time of the day or night, even in noisy environments. So, let this bedtime meditation lead you into peaceful slumber, all within God's presence. Take a few moments to declutter your mind by releasing all pressing thoughts to the Lord. Invite the Holy Spirit to be with you. Go ahead and whisper your prayer of invitation now. Make sure there are no distracting lights in the room and get comfortable. Tonight, we will focus on this gentle technique, one that's been around for decades, to help you regulate your breathing, relax every muscle, and visualize a peaceful place, all within the presence of God. Now, pull the soft covers around you and sink your head into the pillow. It's time to hear from the scriptures and learn this two-minute technique to help you fall asleep quickly and gently. But first, let's pray. Lord Jesus, you know how I've struggled to fall asleep. Night after night, I toss and turn, longing for deep and peaceful rest. Tonight, I come before you in the stillness of this room and ask for your blessing of sleep. Lord, I surrender all my fears. I release all my worries. 
I seek your presence right here, right now. Thank you, Lord, for leading me to this sleep meditation, a bedtime meditation filled with your truth and your comfort. I ask that you help me fall asleep quickly and gently. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Now, focus your mind on total relaxation. Feel a sense of calm come over you. As you allow every muscle to loosen, starting with the muscles in your face, relax your forehead and your jaw. Moving down to your shoulders, gently roll them back, releasing the strain and tension. Let your arms rest at your side. Continue to breathe deeply, inhaling slowly and exhaling. Feel your chest relax as your breathing becomes steady. Experience a sense of ease and tranquility as relaxation moves throughout your entire body, your legs, your calves, your feet. In your mind's eye, picture the most serene place in the world. Maybe it's a quiet, sandy beach with warm, gentle waves washing over your feet. Wherever your place of serenity leads you, remain there for several moments. Sense the presence of God with you. As the prophet Isaiah writes, With my soul I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me I will seek you. Let your heart's desire be the holy presence of God. By your spirit within you, seek him now. Again, release all tension from your forehead and jaw. Open your mouth slowly. Then close it. Feel all the muscles in your face completely relax. Your shoulders are loose and your arms are resting comfortably at your side. Breathe slowly, steadily. As you inhale and exhale, be comforted as the Lord keeps you in perfect peace because you have fixed your mind on him. Visualize the Lord building a refuge of peace and security around you tonight. Brick by brick, he lays the foundation, a foundation that will never be moved. As Psalm 61, verse 3 through 5 says, For you have been my refuge, 
a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. For the first time in a long time, you are able to rest deeply, knowing you are sheltered in the refuge of God. Your whole body is relaxed. Your breathing is soft and steady. And your mind is resting on the Lord, your strong tower. As the Lord surrounds you with his fortress of protection, you are completely at ease. Finally, you are able to fall asleep quickly and gently. As you enter those first stages of sleep, drifting off peacefully, feeling perfectly content, your mind drifts to images of God's beautiful creation. Green rolling hills, a wide open meadow dotted with flowers, a gentle flowing stream of water, clear and refreshing. Soft grass beneath your feet, cushioning your toes. You remain here in the peace of God's creation, inhaling and exhaling. In your dream, you look up to see wispy clouds floating over the quiet meadow. You are lulled by the heavenly scene above you. Your focus is only on the creator of heaven and earth. Nothing troubles you as you allow the billowy clouds to pass by against the pale blue sky. We have waited for you. The desire of our soul is for your name and for the remembrance of you. With my soul, I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. God loves you, dear one. As you have waited for him, he waits for you. In this quiet meditation, this holy moment, God is with you. His Holy Spirit helps you relax every muscle, every tendon. 
He causes you to breathe in a steady rhythm. He allows you to find peace in the presence of His holiness. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing this child how to fall asleep quickly and gently. You are their helper and their comforter. We praise you from the depth of our souls. We dream of pleasant places with you, hand in hand, step by step. With you, we want to remain. Thank you for your presence tonight. Father, let your angels surround this beloved child. Surround their home and guard that which they've committed to you. Be with them through every breath every minute and every hour of the night. In Jesus' name, amen. Sleep deeply in Christ Jesus, your fortress, your shield, and your strong tower.